Good morning everybody and welcome to a brand new weekly vlog. I cannot believe, last week went so quick, it's ridiculous. Um, so we are on to a brand new Monday and fresh start, fresh week. So this morning and this week, I haven't got much planned, it's probably going to be a fairly standard week, but you never know what happens. Like last week I ended up going to the Strictly tour, which was very last minute, as you'll have seen. I'll link my previous vlog weeks down below if you are uh, brand new here and want to binge watch my other ones, then I'll leave them linked below. This morning I have just gone out, grabbed a coffee, I'm going to sit down and do some emails and some admin. I want to film a Zara haul because I bought some bits in the sale. Either way I'll film it either today or tomorrow, so by the time you're watching this video it will be already up so I'll leave it linked below but yeah as for now I'm gonna have my coffee get on with some emails it's a bit later on now I managed to fill my Zara haul which I'm so excited I love so many of the things I bought so I just need to nip to the post office I also need to post my mum's birthday card I'm gonna go grab some lunch I think I'm gonna try and stay a little bit healthy and just grab some soup or something what do you think of my eye makeup by the way today I've gone for some eyeshadow which I don't always wear I used the Urban Decay Naked heat palette which I love and I'm tempted to do even though I don't really do makeup videos maybe a bit of a tutorial I love the colors in the palette and I just think for blue eyes in particular they do make them pop so if you want to see that let me know down below if you want to see more makeup videos in general I'm just gonna clean some of my makeup brushes because I realized this morning when doing my makeup they need a wash and I'm also going to which I haven't done in a long while it feels fake tan because I need to wash my hair later on this afternoon anyway so I thought one of my pet peeves about fake tans is because we always have white bed sheets is the transfer so instead of doing it and then sleeping in it what I'm going to do is do it now and then when I have my shower and wash my hair later on this evening I'll rinse it off then so at least hopefully not too much will go on the sheets this is my little tanning drawer I've got down here if you're interested some of my tans here so i've got mine tan and then i've got some other brands some of my favorites saint maritz uh, madame lala i think boohoo sent me this bondi sands garnier vita liberata loving tan these three were sent to me fairly recently by mine tan and i've not tried them yet so i've got <clears throat> Either the coconut foam made with coconut water, one hour express tan, and these are both one hour express tans as well. So there's the My Moroccan foam with argan oil, one hour express tan, and then the absolute foam with melanin activating intensifiers, 20 times quad bronzing. So that's probably quite a dark, intense one. I think I'm gonna go with the Moroccan one. I'm using a mine tan tan. I'll use a mine tan mitt. clean and this is the next job ironing what smells really sweet then yeah just got out the shower as you can tell no makeup hair still wet and this tan that i've put on i feel like i don't know okay so it looks does look quite dark in this light but on my arms I don't think it's taken to it at all really it's definitely more of a natural tan it doesn't have the fake tan smell but I just thought I'd quickly come in and sort of end tonight because we're off to bleh, because we're off up to Tom's mum's to sort out some paperwork and like end of year tax returns and all that kind of stuff good morning it is Tuesday today I am ready and set in my gym gear because I have decided uh, that I need to get fit again and I'm feeling a bit, you know when you just feel heavy? When I work out on a regular basis and go to the gym, even if it's just once a week, just doing some form of exercise, I feel so much better about myself. I just feel tighter and more confident and at the minute, especially over Christmas and everything, I just feel like I've been too comfortable with just getting... Blech. I have tipped the scales over the 10 stone mark this morning so I want to get back down to about 9495 which is like my target not my target weight but it's like where I'm comfortable I'd rather just be a bit healthier work out more which is the main thing get more exercise in because I'm not doing any at the minute also our gym is right next to being in bargains and poundland so all the more reason to go there more often so I'm gonna do that Tom's just gone for a quick meeting I'm gonna go grab some breakfast and then we'll head over in about an hour or so, so I have gone for 
Firstly, an Americano as opposed to a cappuccino. I've got some eggs, a couple of avocados as well, some milk for if I fancy a coffee later, like an instant one. I have these left over, these oat cakes. So just have one of them with an avocado and maybe one egg on top. Well, I got that on the vlog, so Tom just jumped. What? Yum! Although I've not got any pepper, so I'm gonna have to buy that next time. How about you stay and work and I go to the gym by myself? Well, when I go, when we go, I'm gonna go to B&M Bargains in Poundland. No, you're not. Yes, I am. How do you feel about that? Not good. Right, well, I'll go by myself then. See you later. Okay. Okay, love you, bye. Quick gym outfit of the day. These leggings are by Puma, but I got them at TK Maxx. Shoes are very old night juvenates that probably are past their due date. And then I've got just a uh, like workout black vest on from Primark. This hoodie, which is from Uniqlo, it's my absolute favorite. I love it so much. Um, and it's freezing outside so I've just thrown on this jacket as well. This puffer jacket is from Select. If it's still in stock, I'll link it below. Oops. Okay. Um, just about to head to the gym. Went into B&M and Poundland. Nothing in Poundland, unfortunately, this time. I know some of you guys say, which Poundland do you go to? You always get amazing stuff. I don't always find amazing things. I just go in quite a lot. So on the odd time that I do go in and find quite a quite a few things then obviously that's when I do a Poundland haul um, but I did get a couple of bits from B&M nothing really too exciting a deodorant shake to bake pancake mix things for pancake day and with that I also just got some lemon because I have lemon and sugar on mine what do you guys have on your pancakes let me know and then lastly I got this little it says armchair tray but weird I'm probably just gonna put it on we have an l-shaped sofa and on the l part there's like an extra stool area with maybe a candle on it a little book or a reed diffuser I think it could look quite pretty it's just plain white and then it does have stands if you did want to put it over like the arm like the picture Time I have half this soup left over from yesterday, which is super broccoli and Lancashire cheese. Oh, this kitchen is a mess. You're gonna come with me as well tomorrow, aren't you? Let's get fit together. Summer bod. What? Morning tomorrow. Morning. Yeah. It'll be busier in the morning. But yeah. Get up early for it. <laughs> Don't do come back and tell what you're doing. <laughs> oh no, because I'll drop the camera. Guessing the colour. Ooh. Orange. Green. Oh. Orange. Really? Yeah. Mm. Close your eyes. Red. Got hair on your chin. Red. No. Come on, that was an easy one. Yellow. Lemon. So I saw these. Whoa. Sharp knife. These were reduced down from. £1.80 to 90p, so the bargain hunter in me couldn't resist. So in order to get them, I've bought all the ingredients to bake. Banana bread! 
So I'm going to try and make it a healthy one. I had a quick look at a healthy recipe and they said to use wholemeal flour instead of normal, dates to sweeten instead of sugar, and also a little bit of either syrup or honey, which is better than sugar. Obviously still going to be a bit naughty, but whatever. Uh, syrup is better than sugar. Yeah. Syrup is sugar. Well, it's got like more natural health benefits. What's the back of syrup say? I don't know. Okay, and then I also got bicarbonate of soda. Oh, I know, first ingredient, all the sugar. Ingredients. Vanilla extract. <laughs> sugar. sugar. Well, obviously it's sugar, whatever. It's better for you. Cinnamon, have we got cinnamon? Cinnamon, yeah. Cinnamon? What are you eating now? Cold syrup. Tom, save it for the banana bread. Oh, so we do have some. Oh, look what else I bought as well for us today. Uh, let me go get it. Shake to bake panake mix and <laughs> pancake mix for pancake day and some lemon. Can we have fresh lemon and real pancakes? We don't need fresh lemon. I'm happy with this. You're happy. What's um, your choice of pancake topping? Yeah, lots of gold syrup. Syrup. Not too much. We've got Nutella in there as well, which. If you saw my what I got for Christmas, we got personalised Nutella pot, which I thought was quite funny. As for now, we're going to have a fairly healthy salad option. Again, I say fairly healthy because we're having burgers. <laughs> well, 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 no, what? Well, yeah, we are having burgers. We're not having a burger, is it? No, we're, ha we're not having like a cheeseburger with the bun and all the relish and everything. We have two burgers each and we have it with... This salad, we have some beetroot, which is a super food. And we have a little bit of olives and feta cheese, rather than buying a full feta. If you just get this, then there's a few feta pieces in there, so it's not as bad. Throw a few chopped walnuts on the salad, and then they'll also be used in the banana bread for tomorrow. Quick update on the tan that I use, the mine tan. At first I was a bit skeptical because I felt like it didn't make much of a difference. I didn't put any on my face so you can't judge by that. But it has developed, even though I rinsed it off, um, it's developed into a really nice, fairly natural colour. If you were really dark it probably wouldn't make a noticeable difference but um, I love it. Looks delicious. So we are watching this, I mean <laughs> eating this. Well, catching up on last night's or the other night's McMafia. I was just watching Zoella's vlog there. She's my favourite vlogger, I think. Um, pardon? She's the richest vlogger. She probably is. We just had the weirdest experience. Went to Booth to get our morning coffee just before Tom left for work. And then out of nowhere, it just started, like... I want to say tipping it down, but it was snowing. And then, like, again, right now, you might not be able to see, but bright blue skies. It was so bizarre. Anyway, I am having one of those days today whereby hair up, slacks on, because Tom's got um, a day of, like, meetings and things, so he needs the car today. So I am pretty much stuck at home. I am going to start baking of the banana bread. So... The recipe that I found is from a website called cookieandcake.com. Okay, so our scales have no batteries and I have no idea what kind of battery it needs. So I'm going to have to guess with these measurements. <laughs> This is what it's looking like so far. I'm not sure the consistency, if that's about right for banana bread. I feel like it might be. But I'm gonna pop this in now. So we have to leave that now for about an hour. Fingers crossed. Taste a test. So I've just opened it up and it looks perfectly cooked, if I do say so myself. So ordinarily, obviously, with cream or ice cream, but trying to be a bit healthier. Mmm. Mmm. 
big thumbs up from me. I'm so impressed with that and I hope Tom likes it. I'm sure he will. I just nipped to uh, Tom's office just to um, grab a package that I had delivered, which I'll show you what I got, and also to go and pick up some lunch, which I'm having this mushroom soup. Um, and another slice of banana bread because it's that amazing. If you'd have seen last week's vlog, Norvell Tanning, we went to Strictly Tour in Manchester. I took Tom's mum. So they sent me some of their products to try out. So I thought I'd show you what I got. The first thing being, so the reason why we were invited to the Strictly Tour in Manchester with them was because they've released their own Strictly uh, range. So this is the Showstopper Colour Boosting Skin Perfector. This one is a Perfect Tense Self Tanning Airbrush Spray. The Self Tanning Mousse, I've had this and tried it before and really liked it, so um, no, I'll like this. They've also sent me a Self Tanning Mousse Medium to Dark Instant Bronzer, pH Balancing Shower Cleanser, Sulfate Free Gentle Moisturizing Body Cleanser, an exfoliator for pre tanning or to scrub off any excess tan. This I was really looking forward to trying because I've never tried one before and it's one of the uh, face sprays that you spritz on or um, it does also so you can apply it to a like a beauty blender and just kind of blend it on your skin before makeup and then finally the dazzle shimmering mist look at the color of that I'm gonna heat up this mushroom soup crack on with editing um, my vlog and video and have another slice of banana bread because why not it's best when it's fresh right so let me get Tommy's opinion. I've said he should have it with something like butter or, well, cream, but that's not it's defeating the fact that it's meant to be healthy. Since when is this going to be healthy? Mm. Is it good? Really good. Yay! Dinner for tonight is for one, because Tom's eating at the restaurant um because he's got a meeting there so i am cooking i've mashed up the avocados that we had left over i had one and a half in there salt and pepper i've put some pasta on the boil so i'm just waiting that for that to cook and then i'm just gonna have like a creamy avocado style pasta dish my just... face doesn't look it because i have no makeup on i'm actually feeling a very fresh this morning we've just been to the gym we got up nice and early and went which just is so much better to kickstart your day. And then it, what, what we did instead of like coming straight home, we just did like half an hour on the treadmill and went through our emails on our phone, just walking. And it felt so good. So we nipped into Asda to get a bit of a food shop. And for breakfast, I'm just gonna have a piece of, because we need to finish this banana bread. I'm gonna have a piece and then leave the end piece for Tom. And then that is the banana bread done. It was very yummy. I don't know how healthy it was, but it was good nonetheless. Okay, so food-wise, we got some rocket salad, Americano instead of cappuccino. And then we have some chicken thighs, red peppers, fusely pasta, lemons, eggs, red onions, garlic and herb chicken, garlic, chorizo, bananas, potatoes and a cucumber. Tom's asked me to vlog this. I have not. <laughs> He's so proud of his frittata. Go on then, what's in it? Chorizo, eggs obviously, potatoes, peppers, peas, onions. Uh, that kind of looks like a disease there. What? Just this bit. Look. It's peas in my <gasps> You can't swear on my channel. Whoa. So I've just filmed a video which will be live by the time you're watching this and it is kind of a bit of a requested one for you guys that know me on this channel. You know that I always go on about my monochrome book collection and this collection that I've been growing and these bargain books that I seem to find. So I've done a video purely dedicated to my monochrome book collection in terms of so far all the books that I have and where I've got them from. So this is just a quick glimpse of some of the books. So if you want to see that I will leave it linked below. Let me know what you think of it. I'm so glad that I had that gym workout this morning because it's really kick-started my like it's given me more energy, I feel better. Even though it's still fairly like early days in terms of exercise, I'm easing myself into it rather than going full force. 
when I'm at the gym, I'm like really motivated. And sometimes it's just the effort of getting to the gym that is the like the most off-putting thing. But if you just get yourself there and just get on with it, even if it's light exercise towards the end, we just walked on the treadmill for half an hour next to each other whilst doing emails. It's just doing something. Look who's back, 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 back again. Just getting on with some last minute editing and then we are going to have tonight our spatchcock that's half date um, what just for salad cream yes it's not really this is what we're having what are we having it with pasta salad oh. okay now oh, my phone's going just lit some candles and how cute is this if you remember this from a primark call you just on and off just put a little tea light in there and it looks like so this is nearly finished this one this is just a big one from tk maxx and these are my two two aldi candles which you know i love i've got lime basil and manda in there and then a black green bay i actually really rate the black green bay one they're the ones i'm currently burning it's not quite ready yet but do you know what this reminds me of there's a sketch with Mr. Bean, and he has a turkey or something on his head. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Reminds me of that. It's a shame that you don't like the skin. We actually fight over the skin, don't we? Well, no, we split it in half. When you go to someone's house and no one eats the chicken skin, and you realize you're the only one. Good morning. It is, what time is it? 8.59. Off to go get some breakfast from Booth and a coffee and then I'm gonna have an office day today and an admin day. You've got meetings, haven't you? And then, what are we doing tonight? <laughs> Song. <laughs> what are we doing tonight? Tonight, we are... Might be celebrating, might be chilling. Oh, you're taking me out. Mm. Busy at work at the minute. So I have just brought from home some cucumber sticks and a little bit of hummus there to snack on. And then for lunch, I'm having some of the frittata leftover. It's lunchtime. Sun is shining. Sky is very blue. Um, I kind of feel bad being inside, but it's always like that in the UK. I've got a couple of parcels here, which I'll open up with you when I get back home and one of them in particular I'm very excited about. Okay, so I just got back in and the parcel that I'm talking about, if you can focus on me, yeah, there we go, is from Benefit. Now, I already know what it is because I have already opened it and that's because when I got the delivery, I got it delivered to the office, not to my private home address and um, as I do with like any blogger mail. So when I got it, the boys had like a bet on what it was and one of them said a mascara, so Seeing that it had benefit written on the front, I figured that with all the influencers being in the Maldives at the minute, which looks absolutely incredible, I can't wait for some of their vlogs, um, I know that they've got a brand new mascara out. So, um, that is what I got. I received the, what's it called, the Bad Girl Bang mascara it says that it's available from the 1st of february so it will already be available by the time you're watching this and retails for 21 pounds and 50 pence the wand is quite like thin so this is what the wand looks like so thank you so much for benefit to sending me that and then the other one i haven't opened because i figured in a bag like this it could be from a clothing website so i didn't open it in the office it's definitely from an Asian website, so it's probably either Zafool or Sammy Dress, one of those websites. So you'll see if you watch my vlogs that they quite often will send clothes. And some of them are hit and miss, to be honest with you. So rather than doing full videos on them now, I'll just kind of like open them up with you guys on the vlog. Let you know what I think, and if I recommend, I will include the link below. So this is like a big oversized hoodie of some sort it's like a neoprene kind of fabric material oh it's a really weird fabric but like quite nice like really unique the fabric reminds me of one that i've got from uniqlo a black hoodie so uh yes like that one and then i also have in here this oh it's a two-piece 
Oh, uh, this is quite nice. This is giving me Yeezy vibes. I know I've been doing a series at the minute of like Yeezy inspired budget clothing. And um, this is definitely one that could feature if it fits well. So as you can tell, it's quite like a distressed ribbed white top with a matching little mini skirt. And then also got this, which I'm not sure on the color, but it's just like a maxi dress, plain ribbed nude fabric. Okay, this is, oh, this is cute. This is a little off the shoulder kind of bardo style top with ruched detailing up the front there. Yeah, love that. And then last but not least, we have a very Kim Kardashian style this. So hopefully it fits. So yeah, I hope you don't think I'm bragging when I'm showing vlogger mail like this. I purely am doing it just because I would love to watch it. And vloggers, the vloggers that I watch when they open their PR unboxing, I absolutely love watching those little features. Right, I'm gonna head back out, go grab my afternoon coffee, back to the office, and then I'll um, probably see you in a bit. So Tom's still at his meeting, it's gonna be a late-ish one. Um, went well, but in that respect, because he's not gonna get back till later, because he has to travel, we're instead going to go out for a nice brunch or breakfast instead, probably. So, this evening, I thought I would kind of treat myself because it's Friday and I've had a good, productive day today. I've had some good emails come in. I've got lots of work done. So, I'm starting with healthy by having Thai green chicken noodle. I can't believe the, like, figures on this. It's really, really good. Um, so, I mean, I'm no expert, but I'm gonna have that, but then with it, just to, like, bulk it out and give myself a bit of a treat. I'm gonna have this garlic and cheese ciabatta slice. So it's only one ciabatta with some garlic butter and cheese. And then I bought these for our little chocolate bowl that we have in our living room. So it's just some lint. They were like on offer for Easter. So I'm just gonna throw them in our chocolate bowl there, a little treat bowl. Just because they're really, really small eggs and I'm just gonna, when I'm craving that bit of chocolate, just have a couple. Oh, I wanted to try something. I saw something on It's Judy's Life where she she played this game. Oh, that didn't sound good. She played this game with Google, so I'm gonna see if it works. Hey Google, let's play Akinator. Has your character really existed? Yes. Is your character's gender female? Yes. Is your character from YouTube? No. Is your character famous? Yes. Has your character recorded any albums? No. Is your character British? Yes. Is your character more than 40 years old? Yes. Does your character belong to the royal family? Yes. I think of Queen Elizabeth II. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> Think of someone famous and whisper it to me. Why? Think of someone famous and whisper it to me. Why though? Just do it. Or you can whisper it to the camera, just say it quietly. Who? Who? You told me to whisper. Yeah, I can't hear you. <laughs> Hey Google, let's play Akinator. Has your character really existed? Yes. Is your character a girl? No. Is your character from YouTube? No. Is your character more than 40 years old? Yes. Is your character American? No. Is your character dead? No. Is your character English? Yes. Is your character linked with sports? Yes. Has your character played for Manchester United? Yes. Does your character have three famous sons? Yes. Does your character have their own perfume brand? Yes. I think of David Beckham. <laughs> Am I right? He's got it. He's got yes. It. Get ready for the final celebrity big brother. Yes. Yeah. Off to the gym and yes. Off to the gym and yes you are ready. And yes I'm ready and I was going to say and yes I have a full face of makeup on because we are going for breakfast afterwards. So light exercise this morning, and I might go to the gym later because Tom's going out with the lads tonight, aren't you? That's 
Out in Clitheroe. Where are you going? Clitheroe. He's off to Clitheroe. Oh my god. So do I. Uh. I need to get my. That was not your sunglasses. Oh, so, anyway, as I was saying, we are off out to breakfast this morning, but we're going to go to the gym first. I think I'm going to do power walking because I don't want to get too sweaty to go to breakfast. So, what are you doing? Weights or walking? Weights and a walk. Weights and a walk. And then, we're going to a place called Tubs in Goon. Then, hairdressers. You're going to the hairdressers? I need a haircut. Um, Alright, that's the plan. Then sunbed. Then sunbed? I think so. I'm up for that. And then, yeah, he's off out tonight. Hang on a minute. Getting your hair done, getting your tan on. Who are you pulling tonight? Tom thinks he's a gangster, you see. So we have to just pretend and go along with it. It's a bit dirty. It's a bit dirty in here. That's funny that you say that because I've said previously on the vlog that whenever you drive this car, you leave it in an absolute state. Anyway, off to the gym. More like lovely Phil. Wait. Sorry, I wanted to show you the food, but the, the owner, she came and sat down with us and had a little chat, didn't she? So, um, I didn't want to whip out the vlog camera. So I had poached eggs on toast. Tommy had full English, so you're full up. It's snowing, it's absolutely freezing. I'm meant to be going for a little walk this evening with a friend, taking her dogs out, but I don't know. Um, and then we're going to go for some food at a place called Barley Mo. Whilst you're out with the lads, 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 lads. Summer time. I'm just trying on this two piece that I was sent. I don't know. I love the fabric and the material and everything. And it is like obviously distressed. And then this is the other dress that I really liked. And it is a little bit big for me, I think. It's kind of because it's a bit too big. I mean, lengthwise it's fine, but because it's a bit loose, it's not kind of how I imagined it would look. So I probably will donate this one. I've just got back home. Take me outs on. True Saturday night style. Um, let me just mute it for a second. Uh, so I had a lovely, I, I might include a couple of clips if I managed to from my phone, but I didn't take my camera with me because we were going on a nice long country walk. So I didn't even have a handbag or anything. I just had my phone and purse on me and that was it. <clears throat> so we had a lovely walk and then um, I've just found these in my pocket from, do you remember when I did Kylie Pigeon shooting on my Christmas and New Year's Eve vlog? That's from them. <laughs> um, yeah, had a lovely um, evening stroll in the countryside in a place called Bali. And then we went for food at a place called Bali Mo. I was feeling a bit dodgy beforehand, but I think a bit of fresh air did me good. And um, yeah, I feel absolutely fine now. So Tom's out on his nights out with the boys. Nights out, night out with the boys. So I'm just gonna get my PJs on, hair and make, well hair's already up, makeup off and just get into bed, watch a bit of trash TV, some YouTube, maybe even read a little bit of a book. That is the plan. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. So just quick outfit of the day. Just before I head out, it is Sunday today. I am wearing my Joni jeans, which my brother bought me for my birthday. My Ralph Lauren boots, which I got from TK Maxx ages ago. This like just plain grey ribbed jumper from H&M. And then this aviator jacket, which I always wear from Misguided. I absolutely love it. I'm just going to head out. Tom's just getting up. He had, he had a late one last night, so he's only just getting up. He's going to get showered and head off to a meeting, which he's got. Update, I'm just looking at my eyelashes in the viewfinder. This is the new Benefit Mascara which I um, would highly recommend. I really, really like it. And I've just been catching up with some of the 
moldy vlogs that the girls have been uploading today. I think I'm gonna quickly go to Booze as well, just grab a coffee for the road, fill up the car with fuel, head into Burnley just for a couple of hours, then come back and Tom should be back at some point this evening, so we'll probably order a cheeky takeaway again, as we tend to do on a Sunday evening. I've just arrived at TK Maxx, and just before I go in, um, I did pick up a few bits, so um, some like wrapping bits for my mum's presents, a couple of other little bits for her, and then a couple of bits for me as well for a Poundland and Pound World haul as well this time. Oh, and I also had a bit of a mare. I got here and realised that I'd left my my purse with my bank card at home, which is so annoying because I pay for everything on that, or like even money like in my purse i had absolutely nothing on me um but luckily natwest they let you um take cash out without having your card on you so um yeah a little tip if you're with natwest i don't know if any other banks do it it's really handy because if ever you forget your card or it's lost or stolen then you can still withdraw money using their app so um yeah that kind of saved me today <laughs> but anyway off to tk max and i'll see you when i get back so I just got back. I brought everything upstairs. I thought I'd show you what I got, but I also wanted to just like mention something. I mean, you might not be interested, but I'm having a deep clear out for our bathroom just to create more space. This trolley, which at the minute is just full of products, which because it's so overwhelming because there's so much there, to be honest with you, I rarely reach to try new things because it's just like, oh, where to begin? That trolley, I've got an image that I saw on Pinterest. I'll try and insert it here so you can see what I mean of how I want it to look and just strip that with maybe a plant in there and maybe some bath bombs, something like just more minimal and more manageable. And then what I'm gonna do instead is I've got these white wicker baskets that go in this Ikea unit that I can have all the, oh, and that cupboard under there, which I can actually have products kind of like hidden away rather than on display. And then I've obviously got my bath bridge, which has not much on it to be fair, just candle, reed diffuser, both Aldi. And then this little um, wash sponge thing came in a set from Sanctuary, which Tom's mum got me for Christmas or no, for my birthday. And then, so I've got my Lush Bath Bomb collection here, and then I've got my samples jar here, which this is from Ikea at four or five pounds. So I have all of this to go through, as well as that. And I'm gonna try and whittle it down to just having everything stored away in those baskets. I went to Card Factory, got this massive bag, um, because I got a big, like, gift bag which is this one I'm going with a bit of a black and white theme. I've got this, which is $1.99, a nice big bag. Fabulous present for someone special. And then I also got a couple of packs of black tissue paper to just like wrap things up individually in. Um, but I picked up these ages ago now, um, so hopefully she can still take them back if she doesn't like them. They were only $2.99 and $7.99, and then they're just these nice little candle holders, plant holders, ornaments, home accessories kind of thing from TK Maxx. And then I also picked her up this again ages ago. It's like just a plain gray, really, really soft fabric, like jumper dress type thing, which she can wear with leggings and boots and a nice jacket and a scarf. That's pretty much all she wears. And that's like all I wear as well, gray jumper. And then this I know she'll love because she absolutely loves molten brown. It is a set of two hand washers Puritas and Pedigree Juice. I also got my mum this book, which I think she'll appreciate. So um, we're quite spiritual, both of us. I got her this journal, which says, Feathers appear when angels are near, my angel journal, which I thought, A, was a really, really pretty book anyway. Um, and it was a really good price. It was reduced from £12 to £4 from the works. And it's just a nice book full of different pages, quotes, and poems and things that you can jot down if you have any experiences yourself or if you just want to jot down your feelings. She um, she lost her dad sadly a couple of months ago so I just think this is a really sentimental gift that speaks a thousand words. And yeah that pretty much sums up this week's vlog so I hope you enjoyed it. Please 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 subscribe if you haven't already it would mean so so much to me. I can't believe there's nearly 10,000 of us on this channel. It's just 
for me that is a big milestone to hit five figures like that is just incredible so I'm so grateful for it um give it a big thumbs up if you do like these weekly vlogs and I'll see you again next week bye guys